it's Clay. How's everybody doing? I got another update on my Tele build. I think I'm finally done with the 60 grit, getting the primer off of the body. I still have some in the cavity, the neck pocket. I don't know, those are just an absolute pain to get that stuff out. It's just such a small area that it's difficult to get sandpaper in there. Uh, so I might just leave it because it'll get covered up and I don't know. Eric Johnson might think that that would matter, but I don't know if that's necessarily important for me. But I think I got pretty much all of it off of the body, um, which I'm pumped about. Sides are looking good. Back's looking good. Pretty much got everything off. Uh, it was 60 grit, so it's rough. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but but uh, it gets a little bit coarse here uh, at the edges, but that's all right. I still will probably run through it again with some finer grits of sandpaper, but it's looking really good. Um, the only parts that gave me trouble were these tops. Uh, this curved area was kind of a bugger and especially down in there was kind of a bugger. Um, but I'm kind of at the point where I'm just really tired of the sanding. I'll probably give it maybe a once over with the 60 grit, but then I'm just going to attack it with, um, I don't know if this is going to be enough sheets, but I've got this thing. I've got 100, 150, and 220. And so I think I'm going to take those three sheets, give it a once over on the entire body, or at least as close as I can, um, just to try to get it as smooth as I possibly can get it. Uh, I also have some steel wool, so maybe I'll do it once over with that before I start with the true oil, but yeah, we're getting there. Um, I have an order of parts coming from Guitar Fetish, and that'll have the P90s, so then I can uh, probably do like a dry fit just to make sure everything is gonna fit properly like I want it to. And then I'll go ahead and you know stick the P90s on, draw an outline, figure out some way to um, get those routed. I still haven't decided if I want to buy an actual router or if I'm just going to use my Dremel or maybe a drill. I'm not even sure yet, but we'll give it a shot. Um, yeah, but it's coming along pretty nicely. Just wanted to keep you guys updated and I will see you later. Alright, so I'm done with the uh, intermediate smoothing sanding. I uh, used this pack here uh, from 100 to 150 to 220. So right now it has been sanded down to 220. It feels and it looks, um, uh, there's a big difference, a big improvement I would say. Uh, you know at first I kind of looked at this stage of the process and was like, eh, not really excited about this. Um, but it has really, really made a big difference. You know, before it was very, I don't know, harsh, sharp. The 60 grit, I mean that's some pretty heavy duty grade sandpaper, but Getting it down to this 220 has really made it smooth. It almost feels like softer or a little bit lighter. I, I, I don't know, that's not the right word, but it feels a lot smoother, a lot clearer. Um, it just feels a lot better, and I feel like it's gonna take the finish much, much better. So I'm glad, I'm really glad that I took my time and did that process right. Um, a little bit of a learning experience. There's a reason why people tell you not to sand against the grain, and I figured out why. Most of my problem was down here on this bottom edge. Um, what happened was there was, I could see these visible kind of scratches in the surface going this direction uh, from the 60 grit when I was really trying to work that out. And even when I got it down to 220, you could still see those scratches. So I went back up to 60, sanded back this direction and not this way, and then uh, went back up to 220 again through each level and got those out. So it looks a lot, lot better. Um, so yeah, definitely I can see why uh, they recommend that. Um, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. So i uh, feeling really good about where we're at. Um, yeah, I, I might tinker with trying to figure out some sort of P90 route and just get started on the routing today. Um, but yeah, I guess we will see how things continue to progress. I'm pretty excited about where it's at right now. and. I guess we'll see how it goes out in the future. So uh, yeah, let me know, guys know if you have any tips or tricks or questions. Uh, just let me know. Thanks, I'll see you soon.